Good evening, I'm your host, Mike Johnson. This is the Big Game Theory. Here we have two contestants, Nathaniel and Calvin, hoping to walk away with one million dollars. Are you guys ready? Sure thing, Mr. Johnson. Let's do this, Mr. Johnson. Ready to walk away with that money. Okay, so you guys gotta answer four questions. Each one is worth $250,000. First question, which economic concept is not contained in the concept in game theory? Is it A, the prisoner's dilemma, B, Nash equilibrium, C, dominant strategy, or D, cross price elasticity? Well, the prisoner's dilemma is a type of game involving a payoff matrix. This implies that each player wants to make themselves better off. Right, Calvin? Yeah, Nathaniel, I think you're right. So that takes out choice A, now to pick between the rest. Nash Equilibrium? Isn't that the Equilibrium named after John Nash? Which states that the player chooses the best option which will maximize his profits, taking into consideration the actions of the other. However, the player doesn't take into consideration how their actions affect the other. Oh yeah, John Nash from A Beautiful Mind, right? Yeah, this definitely is within the concept of game theory, so that leaves the other two, dominant strategy and cross-price elasticity. From the looks of it, I think it's choice D, because dominant strategy involves game theory with both players choosing what's best for themselves. So Mike, I'm gonna have to go with choice D. Wow, what a long explanation, but it looked like it worked in your favor, because choice D is correct. That's $250,000 to the bank. Let's give it up for Nathaniel and Calvin. Okay, next question. What is one of the strategic behaviors involved in game theory? A, each man for himself. B, tip for tat strategy. C, price wars. Or D, internalizing the externality. Oh, I definitely know this one. The only strategic behavior involved in game theory is tip for tat strategy. This is when they behave cooperatively initially, but then perform the action that the other player did in the previous period. For example, limiting production of shoes to 4,000 annually because the other did in the previous period. On that note, choice B. You guys really brought your A-game to the show today. Correct. Another $250,000, leaving a total of $500,000. Okay, let's do this. Two more questions and a million dollars is yours. What is the cause for tacit collusion? A, raise profits. B, create free entry and exit into the market. C, gain perfect knowledge. Or D, differentiate products. Well, the whole purpose of colluding is to raise profits, right? By either limiting production or increasing prices. So one firm would do this, expecting the other firm to return the favor. So in the end, they would both win and raise profits. So I think it has to be choice A, Mike. You guys are doing a good job. That's three in a row. I've never seen this while I've been hosting. That's another $250,000 to the bank, making your total $750,000. You guys have one last question, but this time, no choices. What is the payoff matrix? <laughs> I got this. The payoff matrix represents the interdependence of a duopoly. Each row corresponds to one player and each column refers to the action of another player. It demonstrates how the payoff to each of the two members depends on the action of both. The payoff matrix is used in situations such as the prisoner's dilemma. It's never been done before. Nathaniel and Calvin, you are season one winner of the Big Game Theory. You have just won one million dollars. Well, I shouldn't call you guys winners yet. Let's make this a little interesting. I'm gonna face you guys off with the prisoner's dilemma. You guys are gonna get, either have to decide to split or steal the money. If one of you guys splits, and one of you guys steals, the guy who steals gets the money. If both of you splits, you get a 50-50. If both of you guys decide to steal, neither of you get it. Come on, Nathaniel. We've known each other for years. You can't honestly be thinking about taking all that money for yourself. Plus, I gave two of the answers, so we equally contributed to getting this million dollars. Let's both split. All right, but this is one million dollars, you know. I can't do what I want with half of that. But come on, Nathaniel. That's better than you leaving with everything and leaving with me with nothing. If we both put split on the card, we can both leave with half and we'll both leave happy. Come on, put split. You know what? Whatever. Either way, I'm leaving with more than I came with, so let's just do it. Okay, your time is up. Please circle split or steal on your card.
Okay, Nathaniel, I see you decided to split. Calvin, you chose to steal. You have just won one million dollars. <sighs> I'm putting all that work for nothing. I should have chose to steal. Maybe then we both will have nothing. Come on, bro, don't be like that. I had to use the strategy to make sure we both left with the money. So as soon as we leave, I promise you, we'll go to the bank and I'll give you your half of the money. Thank you all for watching the Big Game Theory. We had a wonderful show today. Everyone, get home safe. I'm your host, Mike Johnson.